Hey guys, Ultra Maximus official merchandise is now available on my Spring Store. Help support the channel and shop by clicking the link below. Oh, hey, look, it's Monkey Bot and Mini Me. Oh, yeah. Well, that's just prime. You suck. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to take a look at a figure from Transformers Rise of the Beasts. It's the Beast Alliance Battlemasters Optimus Primal, and this is a figure I didn't know was coming out or had been out. I found it at a local Walmart in Charlotte, North Carolina over the weekend, and they only had two of them, so I figured I'd go ahead and pick it up and check it out since I took a look at the others. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Optimus Primal in the packaging. It's the same box we've gotten with the other Battlemasters. We got some nice artwork up at the top. There he is. It's that open face box, which is really, really weird and paper thin. Logos, playability. Really like that monkey bot right there. Looks cool. Yeah, there he is. There he is turning into a weapon. Very cool. Just kind of weird. And uh, we get some more artwork on the side. There's the back of the package with gun and monkey mode. And that's really about it for the box. Let's go ahead and get this guy out of package and see what we think. So here we have Optimus Primal out of the packaging and for a wee tiny gorilla, it actually looks pretty cool. I like the design of the gorilla. I like his arch in his back, his big old pot belly, the way he stands there. Very gorilla-like, very, very cool. And it's a nice little sculpt uh, on, on the bot itself. Now, as far as articulation goes, um, his head is on a ball joint, moves up and down and all around, which is nice. I like that. His arms are also on ball joints at the shoulder, like that. And then his legs are also on little ball joints. His uh, waist does lift up, but that's for transformation. But yeah, for a tiny little gorilla figure, this is pretty cool. And then you could also have him stand upright if you balance him proper. And he's got his little pot belly out, but uh, yeah. Definitely a pretty cool little gorilla. Now, taking a closer look at the figure itself. Again, sculpted well. Lots of little details. Um, I like the silver on the arms that turn into his gun. I think that looks pretty cool. Gives it kind of a bio-cybernetic look. Um, again, I like the stance. The head sculpt's pretty good. We get a little bit of gappage there in the middle, but, you know, for a little $10 figure that turns into a weapon, it's not really bad at all. I mean, lots of detail and a lot of articulation for a figure this size. For comparison, we have Optimus Primal with his Wavemate Arrow Stripe and definitely pretty cool. I think these are my two favorite of the four Battlemasters that I've gotten, mainly because this essentially Tigatron turns into a crossbow, which is pretty darn cool. But uh, I gotta say, I think I'm liking Primal the best of all the ones I've picked up thus far. So transformation on this figure is actually pretty interesting. And the first thing that we want to do is rotate the head backwards like this. Then we're gonna get the arms out of the way like that. You want to lift up the chest, and then you're going to lift his belly up like this. Then pull the guns out of his arms like that. And you want this peg is going to go over this tab on the waist. So you want to make sure to get the, and then these are going to go uh, together on the barrels. So make sure you get the waist all the way up inside of the arms because you're going to tab those into place. So the forearms are going to come forward like that and you're going to tab get the legs out of the way you're going to tab these so pull the forearm forward on that double joint and then make sure that the tabs are in the waists again it's going to be kind of fidgety but once it locks into place it's there so it's going to look like that so let's do the same thing again on the other side so pull that shoulder forward make sure to get that tab over the waist close up it's gonna look like that a little bit like shockwave close up the barrel like that and then you're gonna flip the feet forward and there we have primal in his gun mode which actually looks pretty decent it's not a bad little gun mode 
um, kind of looks a bit like Shockwave, I think, in different colors. So yeah, definitely pretty cool looking. Now, of course, he's supposed to turn into a gun for Primal or one of the other Maximals or Autobots, so let's go ahead and put him in his hand. So yeah, there he is. Looks pretty cool. He is a different color than this Optimus Primal, so that's kind of nice. A little bit more brownish gray. But yeah, he holds him well. Looks cool. Nice, big, and beefy gun. I think that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. Definitely like him. I think he's one of my favorites. He definitely looks very big gunny to me. So is the Transformers Rise of the Beasts Beast Alliance Battlemasters Optimus Primal something you want in your Transformers collection? Well, this could be an easy pass for a lot of people. Uh, if you like Target Master type of characters, I think you're going to like this. If you're a Beast Wars fan, I think you're going to like it. And if you're collecting all the Rise of the Beast figures, you definitely want to get it. This is the rarest of the Battlemasters I have seen thus far. Um, check your local Walmarts. Again, they're about 10 bucks. It's actually probably the best of the four I've got. Like I said, um, I really like the Gorilla Mode, and I think the transformation is pretty cool, and it looks really good as a gun. Kids are going to like it. It's going to team up well with uh, particularly this Optimus Primal figure, I think. But yeah, definitely a lot of fun, and uh, you know, pretty cool little drone to go with Primal. So there he is, the Beast Alliance Battlemasters Optimus Hey guys, I want to give a shout out to my top subscribers and to my newest subscribers. Thank you all so much for helping grow the channel. Remember, for every 1,000 subscribers, I'll give you, the fans, a chance to win a free action figure. If you don't see your name and want to be included, like this video, add a comment down below telling me to add you, and of course, subscribe. Thanks again, and look for more videos in the future. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos, and follow me on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.